in the heartland of the Bidayus in Sarawak. I was on the way to Anna Raya's longhouse with Edward Mansell and Agatha Van Den Houghton, a friend from Holland. We were there to observe a tour guide clinic organized by some tourist guides. This is a very interesting development because the tour guides themselves are taking the initiative to organize courses to improve themselves. This clinic was initiated by three graduates of batch 10 of the region specific tourist guides course. Anna Raya's longhouse is one of the few remaining Bidayu longhouses that still exist. It is located about 60 kilometers from Kuching. The road brought us through a very scenic countryside. I have visited this longhouse before and posted an earlier video, episode 109, about it. So this is the second part. After an hour's drive, we arrive at the longhouse. There is a tourist information center in front of the longhouse. Tourists must register themselves and the entrance fee is to visit the longhouse is 10 ringgit each. Uh, I'm Rika and uh, Fresh Mo, Mo and Janelle. So we organize this together um, basically to update people. So, you know, those who haven't guided in this in the Kampong before, give them opportunity to learn the guiding route. Uh, the training will be divided into two sessions. The first session is more for us as tour guides um, to learn the guiding routes, to learn the basic certain basic information and also to meet some stakeholders so we'll meet the, the homestay operators um, they'll share their contact with you and blah 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 you can view the house Mr. Arthur will be session one our guide our trainer for session one our trainer for session two we'll meet later uh, the Bidayu like uh, dial dialect or and the sub dialect there are so many okay so we are the Biana so in our the way we speak is a bit different than those from Bau, from Penrisen, from Serian. So this one we describe it as tus. Yeah. So we we just do this, okay? We put the sugar cane yeah, tube underneath in between the log. Make sure that we don't crush our own fingers. So you just put it. And then there will be bucket place underneath and to collect the juice and that is why this thing this test is built like this okay they are groove that is been made for the water to flow okay to that uh, to that basin there our village at the moment um, is between 1,000 to 2,000 people but on an everyday basis there will be less so much less than that at the end of November last year, we counted it as 280 people that live here every day. Whether they work somewhere, but they're still return back in the evening. And most of the people are farmers, rice planting, or doing other things like pepper, or cocoa, something like that. And you don't see it around, because these are the questions that tourists always ask me. Why I don't see any farm around here, or the field, the rice field? And every family have their, they have their own landlord, their land, plots of land, and it is quite a distance from here. It's something between 20 to 60 minutes walk. The number of houses that we have at the village at the moment on the record is 159. But it does not only the, it is not only talking about the longhouse, but we are talking the, about the houses under the administration and management of the. Of Anaris. Some of the things are from our own kampong, like this bakabras or the, our local tea. Uh, 
When we talk about our own ethnopharmacology, these are the things, the herbs, like the Tongkat Ali. When you bring your guests around, uh, this one, it's, it's, it's explained here, wild pepper roots. But this one, soup tulang. If you prepare soup tulang, soup tulang sapi ka, soup tulang apa ka. I miss it, what is it again? Uh, we, in our own word, we call it rada tarut. Rada means pepper. Tarut means the forest. But here, the, 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 the family, the children write it as wild pepper roots. The room upstairs. Oh, okay. Each family they have their own guest cooking stuff, but to cook food in the bamboo, they still need, we still need this fire pit like this. And remember, tourists will always ask, what happened to the bamboo when you replace it? And then with the paste, you mix it with a bit of salt or uh, sugar and steam it. But any old settlement in Sarawak or in the whole of Kalimantan, in the whole of Borneo, will be like this. It is not just about the music, it is not just about the instrument, but the history. <laughs> And with the skulls here, what is the meaning of this building, Panga? We will cover it in session two. Okay. Did you say Panga? Panga. Baruk is Bau. Okay. The the Bidayu Bau call it Baru.
10 seconds. More money in the all day. They have put here for uh, that one. But that will be the whole story will be covered under session session two. The position is it? Yep. You are asking about who is the oldest in the village? Yeah. He can't really hear now. Mm. <laughs> oh, she is still happy. <laughs> at, the, at the end, still happy. <laughs> so cute, yeah. <laughs> you know. You eat. Ah, you eat, you eat. You ask eat. you to eat. Oh. Ask you to eat. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> she's, she's offering this so that to make her basket lighter. <laughs> nice madam. Or the upper left tributary of the Sarawak River. The Sungai Sarawak Kiri. And this was the river that people used to um, navigate upstream and downstream until 1961. Um, it's just like I was. It's just like I was talking about the vinyu or the uh, the kapur. So it will uh, help to uh, to treat some of those like uh, drawn by Ernest Zakarevich from Lithuania, the same artist that did the Penang Strait Art. Okay. Uh, this is one of the active ones in the village. She have uh, <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, um. Hey, you don't remember your name again? We want to try the dessert, please come. It's exactly a new area. It's an old area, but the houses, the old houses have been dismantled to build a single unit. The design of the house is how we how we are wealthy and how you want the house to be. And even if, for example, if you are not, if I'm not well, license guide, Baruja, we just got our best, just all was best 10. Oh, okay. Best 10 can be graduated or we did our exams last year. And uh, it took a while. 26. 266. I'm amongst of you guys, I'm the. Uh, this is the, the, the oldest one, mm. and then he's uh, more senior, and then the rest is uh, old. Yeah, I mean, you will see us on the This field. is older, older than you guys. Ah. This one also. Uh, this one, this one. Uh, this is uh, this one, and this one. <laughs> The first time we, we start is 2007. Oh. Yeah, after our training. I see. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we were given the plaque, mm. and then we, uh, we operate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you cannot do it without that after after uh, the government give us a call. And then the brothers and sisters, they all come mm -hmm. back. So this is what our room looked like. 
it's very simple. Yeah. But I hope it is comfortable mm. at the same time. Yeah. Person or per room? Uh, it is by per pack. Ah, oh, per pack, huh? Yeah. So usually, what what type of uh, activities will be provided? Uh, we have the when the tourists come, our guests come, ah. we bring them for the tour of the long house. Okay. Mm. Actually, our tribes, Yanna, not uh, 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 we use block pipe not for the mainly not for the enemies. Yeah, yeah? only for hunting small animals. Yeah, How because more? the animals. Eh, something like birds, bears. Oh, uh, okay, understand. Like, like if you want to uh, uh, hunt for the wild boar or deer, uh, then you use skinny for track. A lot of people ask us so why this panga are much built higher than the rest of the house. Well, it's very important that when you tell things that you are sure about what you are telling. And that is why I think that it is so important what you are doing. To inform yourself from the locals, from the truths, you know, you'll hear different, different meanings, but they talk about it and they ask, invite a woman, come tell. So never tell things from, from your fantasy. Uh, I hope that uh, we've all learned a little bit. I know that a lot of you are seniors and have been guiding for years and years, but I hope that you've learned a little bit more and uh, we've gotten information from um, Mr. Arthur, Mr. Judah, and my Auntie Emily, right? Um, we, based on your feedback, we, want, we, we will create a feedback form. Uh, based on your feedback, we, will, we want to understand more what, uh, how this program, whether it has helped, whether how we can improve it, because if it's successful, uh, based on your feedback, if it's successful, we will organize a second round.